Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on question 6 of exercise 6-2 of Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 3. And this exercise is about measurement, area, and perimeter. And the question we are working on is about parameters. So the question says, work out the perimeters of these ships. We have six ships over here, which are ships A to F. The first ship, which is ship A, is a rectangle. This rectangle, this rectangle has the length of four centimeter and the width of two centimeter. So to find out the perimeter of this ship, we have to add them one by one. So I will write it here. So I will put A here to clarify. The perimeter for shape A is equal to 4 cm plus 2 cm plus 4 cm plus 2 cm. 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 4 is 10, and 10 plus 2 is 12. So the perimeter of shape A will be equal to 12 cm. The unit for perimeter is centimeter because it's just the length. So I will write the perimeter for A is 12 centimeter shape b is also a rectangle so it's also having the length of 4 centimeter but the width of 3 centimeter to find out the perimeter for this also we follow the same way so i will write p here p which is standing for perimeter is equal to 4 centimeter plus 3 centimeter plus 4 centimeter plus 3 centimeter well, 4 plus 3 is 7. Here also 4 plus 3 is 7. And we know that 7 plus 7 is 14 centimeter. So the perimeter of shape B is 14 centimeter. As I said, the unit for perimeter is the unit of length. Either it is centimeter, meter, inch, or any unit of length. Because we have centimeter over here, we use centimeter. But for shape C, which is a rectangle, we have the unit of meter. The unit of meter, not centimeter. To find the perimeter for shape C also, we follow the same way. Let me just write it here. P is equal to 7 meter plus 2 meter plus 7 meter plus 2 meter. 7 plus 7 is 14 and 2 plus 2 is 4. 14 plus 4 is 18 meter. Here we have meter as the unit of the parameter, which is a unit of length. Well, the perimeter for shape C is also found, which is 18 meter. Let's now work on shape D. Shape D is having the length and the width of different sizes. So one length is 7, then 5, then 6, and the other one is 2. This one also we follow the same method. We just add the length and find it out. So P for this shape will be equal to 7 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus 6 centimeter plus 2 centimeter plus 2 centimeter. So 7 plus 5 is 12, 12 plus 6 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. So the perimeter of shape D is equal to 20 centimeter. It is 20 centimeter. Well, shape D is also done. Let's now work on the perimeter of shape E. Shape E is a triangle. This triangle is having the length or the sides of 10 kilometer, 11 kilometer, and 7 kilometer. So here the unit is kilometer not meter, centimeter, or anything else. It is kilometer. Let me write this one here because I don't have a space over there. So E, which is showing the shape E. P for this shape will be equal to 7 kilometer plus 10 kilometer plus 11 kilometer. So you know the difference between kilometer, meter, and centimeter where one kilometer is 1,000 meter and one meter is 100 centimeter. All these things you have learned about. So seven plus 10 is 17 and 17 plus 11 is 
28 kilometer so the perimeter for shape e is equal to 28 kilometer well we are done with shape e also let's now work on the perimeter of shape f shape f is a five-sided shape a five-sided shape so it's a pentagon to find out the perimeter of this also we just add the lens so p will be equal to let's start with four four centimeter plus six centimeter plus two centimeter when here this is two the other one which is equal to the other side is also two centimeter if the upper side is six so the one down here is also six centimeter so if this is two so the one to the other side is also two centimeter and finally six centimeter so six plus six is twelve two plus two is four and four plus four is eight so 12 plus 8 is 20. So the perimeter of shape F is 20 centimeter. It is 20 centimeter. Well, we are done with part F also. We have another part which is asking us, let me scroll down a bit. This one is asking us to draw our own irregular shape with a perimeter of 23. It says, how many lines will you use? How many lines will you use? For example, we can have a triangle which is having three sides. And that triangle maybe is having the sides of 10 centimeter and 10 centimeter and here 3 centimeter. This can also be a shape that is giving us a perimeter of 23 centimeter. So the P for this shape will be equal to 10 centimeter plus 10 centimeter plus 3 centimeter equals 23 centimeter let me work on another four-sided shape which is a quadrilateral a quadrilateral that's having the length of let's say five 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 and eight so if this is eight centimeter this is five centimeter this is five centimeter and this is also five centimeter this gives us a perimeter of 23 5 plus 5 is 10 plus 5 is 15 and 15 plus 8 is 23 so the perimeter for this shape will be equal to 23 5 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus 5 centimeter plus 8 centimeter so the perimeter of this shape will be equal to 23 centimeters this is how we can draw a shape. You can have different options. You can maybe, maybe you can draw a pentagon, which is a five-sided shape. Maybe you draw a hexagon because it says irregular shape. When it is irregular shape, it does not have to be of the same sizes. The sides of the shape does not have to be the same sizes. It can be different sizes. So it can be a hexagon, it can be a pentagon, it can be a triangle, and it can be a quadrilateral like the one over here that we have well we are done with all parts of question six of this exercise i hope it helps you learn how to work out the perimeter of different irregular shapes and also it helps you know what units we use for the perimeter of a given shape so please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new to my channel like the video and share the video with your friends your classmates and your students as well have a nice time and thank you so much